Hello and welcome back to another video today. Crew Alexandra take on Aston Villa in the second round of the EFL Cup. After getting through the first round, beating Middlesbrough on penalties, I'm really looking forward to today's game. You know, it's a Premier League side, they're bringing 2,334 fans. We've all combined, there's, two, there's 6,100 tickets sold from this morning, so it could be anything now. Um, my voice is going a bit, so I apologise for that. I'm hoping we play the same side we beat Middlesbrough because we played really really well from that. I'm also interested to see who Aston Villa bring because I know they're not going to bring a full strength squad. Um, they're just going to probably play their reserves a bit I'm guessing. Hopefully they'll bring some uh, main key players but uh, I'm not really bothered what the result is today as long as it's a positive one. You know it'd be nice to get through to the third round for once instead of crashing out these competitions. To be honest I was surprised we got through the first round. You know Hopefully it's something we can look forward to and we can make a good journey out of it. So uh, I'm going to get the train now and we're going to make our way to crew. Come on you Reds. Come on. Lovely. Villa on tour. I know you're somewhere here. Mate, that Cavesti Road ends the busiest I've ever seen it. Jeez. Come on, you Reds. Come on. Support is immaculate as well. That's the best rest of road end I've seen. I've already said it, but uh, yeah, it's incredible. This main stand's full as well. Away. This is what we don't want. Two nil Villa. Um, yeah, it looked offside from where I was sat. A load of people next to me jumped up, you know, saying offside. Villa are back again. Uh, a goal kick. Uh, two nil Villa. We're not taking our chances properly. Here. Um, yeah, we had it in the back of the net, but offside. Um, that could have been for the equaliser. These are the chances we need to be putting in the back of the net. You know, somebody should have been there back post, bang, in, 2-1. Come on, lads. 
let's get one back. Just need to stop Villa coming on the counter because uh, that's their chances of scoring. Uh, still can't believe our goal is offside, but you know, it is what it is. Villa are back on here. Villa are coming for it. Three nil Villa. Too easy. Looks like it's the end of the road for us. Chuma Nine's on. First debut for the club. Come on, lad. Crew got a chance. Go on, go on, go on. With it. Oh no! Good Charlie, good for that. On the carry. Oh no! Come on, Chuma. Come on, Chuma. Go on. Charlie. Here come Villa and it's Jack Grealish. It's in. Easy as that. Jack Grealish just came on and gave the super assist. Easy run. Oh, I knew that would happen. Grealish will come on, has the energy, runs the ball up, puts it in. And uh, yeah, left to finish. I don't think we're going to get four more, to be honest. Right, well at least it's not a clean sheet for Villa anymore. And Jack Grealish scores 6-1. At least we got the goal. There it is. I think it's 6-1. Well done, Villa. Okay, so it's the morning after the match. The game finished 6-1 to the Villa. Um, I did lose track of the score last night. I just want to say well done to Villa. You know, you, you played really, really well. Um, you're a very well-formed side. Uh, and good luck in the Premier League. As for Crew, I think we had a really good game. I don't think the scoreline and the performance matched. I think our performance was pretty good against the Premiership side. You know, we had those spells where we had really good runs. We had some pretty decent chances which we need to put in the back of the net. You know, Owen Dale had an absolute chance. We needed to get it in the back of the net once, but it was offside. I was impressed by Tuma and Ine. Um, 
he came on, he seemed quite strong, he's muscly, uh, he's got quite a bit of pace, um, so I'm looking forward to seeing him play hopefully on Saturday against Bradford. I was also impressed by Tommy Lowry's performance, I think he's absolute class, you know, like every week he puts a shift in, he graphs it out, you know, I can't complain about him. Owen Dale, I think he had a good performance as well, you know, bombing it down the right wing. A lot of Aston Villa fans were uh, even commenting on him saying he was really good, so uh, they did stand out for me. Callum Ainley, um, yeah, he had a bit of a quiet one at the start, and then he did start to work his way in a bit. But Chumanine and Owen Dale and Tom Lowry, they stood out for me. Um, when Villa brought on Jack Grealish, um, straight away he got an assist, and then he also got a goal himself. So, you know, there's not much we can do about that. He's a class player. Um, but uh, hopefully we could be in Villa's shoes one day. You never know. Um but we've got Bradford City on Saturday, so I, I will be there. Hopefully the atmosphere will be as good as it was last night. Honestly, the, the atmosphere last night was incredible. The Gresley Road end was the busiest I've seen. It, it looked more busy than when it was on Derby Day for Vale. Um, the main stands, like three, four blocks were full. Um, and then I've never seen so many TV cameras around the ground. Because um, I saw the highlights and they had different angles of the game which I thought was cool, it looked better like that to be honest but um, I'm going to have to edit this video now uh, I hope you enjoyed it, crew are now out of the EFL Cup which is unfortunate but don't worry because we have now got two other trophies to go for we've got the leasing.com trophy which I'm not really bothered about um, that's the B team boycott one and then we've got the FA Cup which is one I would like to try and go for because you know you can get money from that if you get well on into the rounds um, like Newport did last year, but Newport also came out last night, but I'm not going to talk about them. Not after Saturday's loss. But uh, I'm going to edit this video, and I hope to see you all at Bradford on Saturday. Please subscribe, like, and comment if you're new, and uh, take care guys.